What is up my people, Jack Speed the Ripper here. So we're back with another medal around the world. Real quickly, you know how usually in my videos I'll add like sound clips and you know just like five seconds of the song that I'm talking about so you guys could get like you know an example of it. So so you guys haven't been hearing like lately with YouTube and how they're just getting very anal. Yeah, that's the word anal with everything so stupid just because they want stuff suited for kids when yet they have a separate YouTube for kids. It was just really stupid. Um, let's just face it. They're just fucking attacking our freedom of speech here. And they even said something like even if you are using uh, music that's fair use or it was like no if you have permission to use the music we're still gonna go after you and when I was like watching a few videos like that one guy Daryl Evans I think his name is he basically right um, he basically said right now is a witch hunt so they're really just looking for everyone and this worries me because the fine is 42,000 and I can't remember the whole number but I'll put it here somewhere and that's like not even what a lot of people on YouTube who are just uploading for fun like or for a hobby like me even make in a year. So this is beyond unfair. So what's going on? So why am I bringing this up? Because you guys know I put a lot of clips when I'm doing Metal Monthly Favorites and when I'm doing Metal Around the World. So this is going to make it difficult for me now to do these videos. And I'm trying to figure out around it because I like giving you guys the sample clips. I used to do just five seconds just because like you know they can't catch it. But now I'm scared to do these five seconds because I don't want to get fined $42,000. $42,000 because I don't have that kind of money. And... Yeah, so I don't know how I'm going to do this. And I'm just like, this is why I've been holding off putting the two Metal Mo Around the World videos that I have to put up just because of this whole bullshit. I'll be happy if I could just make like $42 off fucking YouTube a month. Like, I don't even need $42,000. Like, it's just, I don't know. Right now it's a total witch hunt. They even said right now they will grab it anyone and make an example out of them and we all know this they never go for anyone who has like the actual like you know is getting like 42,000 a week or something they always go for the one who doesn't have it so they can make an example out of them and not have to go through so many court issues with like somebody who does have the money so let's see how I'm gonna do this I don't know how I'm gonna edit this or anything but I'm just gonna do my best here so let's talk about the Netherlands. Um, add an interesting fact about the Netherlands. They tend to have the healthiest people in the world and right above France, I believe. And not only that, their national flower is the tulip. So yeah, a couple of interesting facts. Also, they're known to have like the best cheese in the world. So in today's Metal Around the World, we are in the Netherlands. So let's talk about the band named Autumn. The band has been around since 1995. They are a gothic metal band. We already know how I'm not really that into gothic metal bands. See, this is why I like to play the sound clip, just so you guys can listen to it and I don't have to talk about it because there's a lot of genre, subgenres out there I don't like. <laughs> they have a few full-length albums. They have like seven full-lengths and three singles. Um, it just, for me, was just too slow pace, and this is why I want to put a sample clip in so badly. Infinite Dawn. Apparently, they split up already. That's also another gothic metal band right there. There are... Their lead singer was more like on the operatic side almost and I believe they, they did say like it's kind of like symphonic influence as well. And their music was mainly like on emotional grief. You know, typical gothic stuff. The Gathering. This is an older band. Like nobody really talks about this band. The only reason why I found out about The Gathering like I'm gonna say like five or six years ago was because that's when I started getting into Within Temptation. No, I'm not going to talk about Within Temptation. They're a very well-known popular band, so I don't think I really need to mention them. But yes, they are Dutch as well. So, and I believe the song is called Somewhere by Within Temptation. I remember just seeing like it was a live performance and they had Anique on there. So she was the, or the original singer to um, The Gathering. She left like around, I think it was like 2012 and then they now have... So now their new singer is Celia, I believe is how you say the name. It's almost like Sylvia, but Celia. So they've been around since 1989. So their stuff was kind of like more on the doomier side. But then it just started like changing throughout time eventually. Okay, so the original name to this band was Nemesis. But now I believe it was like Nemesia. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. I never learned how to pronounce the name right. They were symphonic, but now they're just like 
I feel like they have a bit of industrial in them, especially because they have that one song with Rammstein, the lead singer. Um, the song's called Alien. The Quiet Resistance al album was the one I first heard it. Actually, like I heard it on like the year it was released in 2011 because that's when I was used, used to listen to like Pandora a lot, and then I had like on like you know how you had like their own stations. Like I typed in like I think it was like. Um, Nightwish and then all of a sudden they were playing like other bands on there that were like closely related to them so Nemesea <laughs> I'm probably saying it wrong and people are going to attack me but um they were um one of the bands that were featured on there along with Within Temptation and Delane although Delane already knew but Within Temptation was like I never heard of them before until I started listening to Nightwish I just realized you could possibly hear my washer machine outside. I am so sorry for not closing the window. Next band is Hyde Evoke. Now I've heard of Hyde Evoke, I just never actually heard of them stuff. Well, I heard of the band, I just never actually heard of the stuff. Um, if you guys don't know, HME, Heavy Metal Entertainment, did an interview with them, I believe a couple years back. I'll leave the link down below. A Wolf in My Heart, which is like their most recent um, song, I believe, I don't know if it came out in the summer or what. The animation to that for the music video was beautiful and it was such a good song to listen to. This is such a good band to listen to, like I highly recommend them, especially if you like folk metal. Now if you're into death metal, a good band that I like listening to was Sinister. Um, I believe they started in 1988. Yeah, 1988. Um, they had like a short little split, but then they got back together. It's pretty much your traditional death metal sound. I really enjoyed them. Obstruction, I believe it's called. The next band, which is also death metal, I kind of actually like them a little bit more. Um, no offense to Sinister, but I like Sinister too. But Obstruction, why do I feel like I'm pronouncing that name wrong? I want to say Obstruction, but there was no S in it. Um, unfortunately, they split up though already. They have a few full-length albums there. I think it was like three or four. Judgment Day is another death metal band. Um, they started like around, I think it was like early 2000s, but they split up like around in 2005. Aza Grom, I... I know I'm saying the name wrong, but what do you expect? It's a black metal band. <laughs> Every black metal band has like a difficult name to pronounce. Um, very good black metal band with death metal influences as well. I fucking love when you could combine the both together because I love black metal, but it's definitely like black metal sometimes it just really depends. Like if you're in that like somber type of mood, like definitely listen to it. But like we all know I don't like slow stuff. So when you put death metal like some influence in it and it's a little bit more faster, I fucking love it. This was like a breath of fresh air when it came to black metal because I haven't been listening to that much black metal lately. So I fucking love this band and I believe they started out in 2015. So they're fairly new. Fair. Lugubre? Ugh, god damn my tracks. <laughs> they started in 1999. They have two full length albums. This is kind of more on the raw sound. Probably not. I'm bad at describing bands. I miss putting sound clip. Anyways, that is it for Metal Around the World. Thank you guys so much for watching. Next one coming up is England. I think you already know who my two special guests are going to be on that one. Thanks so much for watching. I just really hope YouTube gets their shit together and just like stop attacking everybody right now. It's like if you want, you don't want to pay, then don't fucking pay no more. But at least let me allow it to be fucking to do videos like the way I want them and everything. It was like, I'm getting really sick and tired of this. Like I have a lot of friends that are applying on leaving already. They're not, not really the mainly in the metal community, but I do have some friends in like you know, that talk about like their movie critics basically. Fat Samurai Guy almost left. Um, what movie won? I'm not sure if he's leaving or not. He made a video, a long stream video saying that he was leaving. So I need to watch that to confirm <laughs> if he's leaving or not. I really hope not. Um, but it's just so hard right now, dude. It's like you gotta be careful and make sure you're not aiming for children. I could care less if kids are gonna watch my content or not. I actually prefer them don't. But at the end of the day, kids know how to like lie on the age range on YouTube and put it down like saying they're 16 or even 18. So really that's just the parents damn fault for not watching them it should not be our fault it's like i always say i've, I've said it since like the beginning i start my my youtube videos i'm not aimed for kids i will never be aimed for kids it's not my content anyways thanks so much for you guys for watching make sure to take care of your vaginas and have a bonerific day